Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth. I think I'm just gonna accept that I am a dumb person. Oh, that was my keyboard, sorry. And I am going to play as Jacob and Esau again. As many people are telling me, it's not Esau. It's Esau's only. Q2783NSF, that doesn't make much sense probably as a joke if you haven't watched the Ultimate Chicken series. Ultimate Chicken Horse, I should say. But if you haven't watched the Ultimate Chicken Horse series, what the heck is wrong with you? That was masterful. We should take the spirit heart on the, uh... On the stronger character, just so that both units have spirit hearts. It's a little bit unlikely we'll manage to make it to the next floor and beat the boss without having lost that half of a spirit heart, but I think it's still sensible this way. Although, to be fair, we could have protected the whole spirit heart if we had only, um... If we had taken it on the other character and then walked out with the character with red hearts. That could have been the right decision, but... I think we'll just accept half a spirit heart as a pretty good gain there. Or rather, turning a half a red heart into half a spirit heart. Um, and Shoop the Whoop would be lovely here. I think we've made good progress on Jacob and Ezaw. We've uh, started to get kind of a framework for how we're going to deal with things. We know we want to get down to the uh, harder floors as soon as possible to get those double item rooms. And of course, to complete the alternate path. We have so much left to do on the post-it note because of the fact that last time I played as these guys, I respawned as Dark Judas like an idiot. Um... We'll just have the guy up front, who I assume is Jacob, take the uh, shoop de whoop here. And I generally think that items you get to use frequently are probably better just because you stay in the mindset of using them, as opposed to um, items you use less frequently. More spirit hearts. One each? I think one each. There's a couple of different like ways that you could think about this, though. You could take two on the dude more likely to get hit, because he's more likely to get hit. Or, you could take two on the dude with less HP, because if he gets hit, he's gonna die. And, you know, if one dies, you're in trouble. I think you take one each. You know, share the load, keep everybody balanced. We might as well take Notched Axe. And there actually are benefits to Notched Axe, but it's not gonna be a, a high priority... Uh, spacebar item for me right now, for sure. We're gonna look to replace that as soon as possible. We're rich on keys right now, which is lovely. And, you know, the, the dream is just that we managed to make this run work. Get the, you know, alternate path taken care of with this character, and then not have to do it again. Although, doing it again might not be the worst idea, because of the, uh, the value that we get out of these, uh, duplicate item rooms. You know, you did the time, you get the stuff. Puberty. Could be worse. Could be worse. All right. You should be in front. Good start. Tricky boss room to make sure that our units uh, stay in the same spot. I'm really only going to make an effort to shoot um, when we're on the line here. That was bad. Because I don't want my dogs to get desynced. I don't really care if we get Steven or Little Steven here. Both of which are, are totally fine, I think. Yeah, that's not a surprising bit of damage, unfortunately. But at least we will have a Spirit Heart ready to go uh, for the next section. So let's have... Uh, it, it probably really does not matter at all, but... Just come in here, shoot these guys, head down to the next floor. And I think we're fairly well equipped to get a deal with the Devil here, which I consider very important. You know, productive respawns seem extremely good as these characters. We have, no, 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 uh, no special spectral shots or anything. You see the range on the shots these guys have? Like, it's real scary. Come on, you can curve that. I know you can curve and land that. Um, keep a close eye out for tinted rocks. Although, um, it's not... 100% that we'll even be using Notched Axe to leave this floor. I don't know, maybe we should even crack into these buckets. I don't know if, you know, what you get when there's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, a hole. I don't know. I just don't know. What do we need on this floor? Honestly, ah, okay, well, a Spirit Heart right now would be nice. What are you doing here, you silly cat? Uh, if we could get more damage for Shoop to Whoop, Shoop the Whoop is a potential, uh, an, let me put it this way, an item that we can stick with for the remainder of the game. So I don't want to uh, throw that away. 
So I'm wary of stuff like, well, I guess even with Curse of the Blind, we can't really throw it away. That was a fairly productive use of a bomb. Remember, we, can, we don't need to go down to the mines immediately. But we probably should, because we want that double item room. Um, I'm, I'm wary about blowing this guy up, because he's going to create shots when he dies. And that's dangerous, because it's one of my least favorite LMFAO songs from 2010. Um, good, good, good. We're still good. Uh, we're, we're looking for this item room, but also a shop I would really desire. Get one spirit hard just so we have that little bit of extra protection, uh, protection, I should say. No! <laughs> I saw it coming! I couldn't stop it, but I saw it coming. 1% deal with the devil chance. Okay, well, what do we do instead then? Just amp up. I guess you should be shooting all the poops if possible. It, not, it doesn't seem to be working out that way, but, um... We, um... Well, I guess we're focusing on... Just getting that double item room. That's really the only thing we can have uh, agency over here. Apparently, people were talking. I don't know if it's a rumor, you know. It's taken from Twitch chat, which is not to say that if you're in Twitch chat, you're a liar. Just that Twitch chat as an organism might have a tendency to fabricate the truth slightly. Um, we... I was talking, or we were talking about the fact that, you know, Jacob and Esau can uh, take double items, or they can double items and then, you know, each person takes one of them. Uh, and apparently, people were telling me that it started as a glitch, or a bug, rather, um, but now it, it just worked so well that it's staying in the game, which I actually think is, is a really cool approach to things, because... It makes the characters a lot better, and I think they're, like, sort of bad. So I really appreciate the extra help. I don't even know. It's a pink cushion. I don't want to, uh... Come on, with these pennies here. I don't really want to, um... Bomb the donation machine. A couple of reasons. We need bombs right now in order to maximize our uh, deal with the devil chance. Or not maximize our deal with the devil chance, rather, but, uh... Maximize our, our chance of getting to the mines. We're also fairly low on HP, so... Kind of want to save bombs for Tinted Rocks, although I suppose that's, like, exactly what Notched Axe is for. Alright, we, we got our asses kicked on this floor. I've got a lot of practice to do if we're, if we're gonna make it through the downpour reliably on one Spirit Heart, which is an important measure, I think. Should have used Notched Axe as well to try to find, like, a black market or something, but what's done is done. Okay, so we got Book of... Satan's Bibles, and then we have the D10. We really only want um, Satanic Bible. We could swap items here if we wanted to as well, but uh, you know what? We should swap items because we, we can always, well, not always, but we can probably swap back. But we should swap items because the unit that does more damage should have Shoop to Whoop. That makes sense. Since we've already taken uh, damage... On this floor, I think we should peep the curse room right away. And you should go in. And you should go out. <laughs> Alright. So we got that one-third roll, basically, on a deal with the devil chance here, which would be very nice, but maybe not necessary. But I would like it to happen if it can happen. And we really want to hit with these saws, uh, shoot the whoop here. Because uh, if we can make that happen, that should do a bulk of this boss's damage. Well, a bulk might be putting it a little nicely, but um, we we have a we have an mo for fighting the rainmaker, and that's largely just keep moving. As long as your your dudes are kind of tightly coupled here. Oh, if we kept moving, we could have done it. Stronger unit gets the range upgrade, and the early bird gets the worm, and we're down to the next floor, and um, not overly strong. So, well, oh, there goes my controller, which. I don't even use to play the game, so... I mean, you have to be pretty fucking mad to throw a controller you're not even holding in the moment. But that's that's not what's happening here. Sweet. Minus 99 to our deal with the devil chance on this floor. Pretty stoked about that. Pretty happy. Um, no, we're, we're still fine, honestly. Like, losing one deal with the devil, that's life. If we can make it happen on this floor, I'll be... It'll be peaches and cream. It'll be peaches and gravy. Yo, Caden and I went to a Christmas buffet 
in Vancouver. For those of you who somehow, maybe you just... Oh, that was dumb. Maybe you're, you're just watching these videos, like, for the first time. You know, you, you're not familiar with me and the, the colorful cast of characters who make up my life. Kate is my wife. We went to a Christmas buffet. And it was lovely. I mean that sincerely. It was, uh... The food was amazing. Huge variety. And regionally kind of, like, tailored, which was really nice. Like, we live in British Columbia. Not only was there, like, you know, seafood, crab, lobster, stuff like that. But there was also... Um, like smoked and candied salmon and I was like that's cool that reminds me that I'm indeed Canadian and um, I'm here eating some you know traditional Canadian foods either way um, what would you expect to be at a Christmas buffet I hear I hear you out there you're saying ham that's correct there was ham and it was delicious turkey you ain't wrong there was some turkey there mashed potatoes eh, let me stop you right there I know what you're thinking. You must have missed them. You must have missed them. You must have missed the potatoes. No Christmas feast is complete without p potatoes. No! There were no potatoes. I checked. On myriad occasion. I was, it, it didn't ruin the... You, he just threw poop at me. He threw his poop at me. It didn't ruin the experience. I had a lovely experience nonetheless. And you know what? Instead of having mashed potatoes, I just had an extra helping of Caesar salad. Also delicious. But, I was stunned in the moment to find no mashed potatoes in the in the venue. Stuffing? Sure. Mashed potatoes? Not at all. So we got the cancer item on one of our units. And Midas Touch on the other. Okay. Um, interesting. With Swallowed Penny, there's maybe even is like some mild synergy there. And the cancer item can be good. The extra spirit hearts are nice just to have to begin with here. Hmm, the haunt, huh? I think, if possible, I would prefer to use Shoop -de Whoop against the larger boss rather than against the little baby bosses. So a little dipsy doodling happened there. Lucky for us. Decent. Save our bombs, because again, we would like to go down to the mines as fast as possible. Because going down to the mines gives us access to uh, those... Oh, I really thought we'd make that work. Gives us access to those doubled item rooms. Now we're going to have the one-third chance here. Or slightly greater than one-third chance. Which is actually as good as it gets after taking red heart damage right now. So, lovely. Works for us. Um, you know what? You get the item. You got tears up. Would have been better if the other unit took it. But that's okay. Uh, I think we go for the moon. Or shoot the moon here is what I mean to say. So... Let's start one at a time. You take this. Little Brimstone. Beautiful. Guppy's tail. Absolutely fine. Just make sure all other Guppy items go to, uh, go to that dude right there. Now, we're in real tight here. I don't like that these guys are separated. Um, we're in real tight here, admittedly. But, we're two rooms away from having another Demon Heart. And I think it's better for us to just not go to all of the rooms. Because I'm taking more damage. I mean, I'm going to get fucked on the mines anyway. But I'm taking more damage on the downpour. So I think we'll just roll with it here. And I actually... Uh, I also feel like between Shoop the Whoop and Little Brim, we got some pretty awesome uh, damage going on here. That is hard to miss with. We just have to remember to use it all. Which obviously I'm not doing a great job with right now. I think we should crack it. Could be worth it. So we'll use Shoop to Whoop. I don't think these are the right enemies to use it on. And we got really like... This is a run where we're babysitting like a fuck ton of units right now. I think we're still a little... Like the Shoop to Whoop as... Oh, you know what? I'm just realizing now... This is, uh, Rebirth Shoop de Whoop, right? Which means that it's actually kind of shitty? Okay, that's, it's unfortunate. I knew that was gonna happen. It's unfortunate, but it's good to know. Uh, so that I know that this item is replaceable. Not even necessarily bad, just replaceable. So, unit's roughly balanced on HP right now, which is my way of saying we've taken a lot of damage. With uh, a character that maybe we shouldn't have. Um, I think in this situation, you go 9 volts on uh, Satanic Bible unit. It would be nice if that was attached to the item as opposed to attached to the character. But still, this is uh, 
is pretty good, I think. So, placing two bombs here is actually, like, nice. But it's a slightly tricky situation in which to make it happen, as you're, as you're noticing right now. So, I was trying to, like, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why didn't you blow up, like, uh, the tinted rock and the other rock you wanted to blow up? Because that would have put us in a place where I think movement just wouldn't have made sense. So, I think we, we would have tried, had to try hard to avoid movement. Um, or to avoid moving into the path of a bomb. Okay, so our deal with the Devil Chance is uh, basically at a one-third roll again. Not that bad. I think we should just go through with this fight here. This is the worst boss, dude. Very well designed, and just a total piece of shit. Stop that. Please, get some help. Oh, we got out of the way. That is amazing to me. So what? what's my deal right here? Why am I not doing enough damage? I'm trying to land these little brim shots. Oh, dude! <laughs> if you're gonna take damage, try to make sure you get that Midas Touch play out of it. We should be safe. Very close, but... Yeah, that was bad. I'm not gonna downplay. We could die here. Stop, stop doing that. Did he throw a sad bomb at us? Whoa! Get low, son. Little Brim, I need you to hit. We've done it. Oh my god! I look to the heavens for a sign. What do you need me to do to win as this character? I mean, that is gonna do it for this run. I'm disappointed in myself, but, uh... I mean, it's authentic. This is a genuine dang old loss as this character, and we're getting our ass kicked. What, what can we do in the future to minimize this? I mean, what was my folly on that boss fight? If you looked at it mathematically as a smart person, as soon as you started taking damage, walk into him with Midas Touch, beat the shit out of him with Little Brim. I was trying to get Little Brim to work, but he was down there in those, like, corner tracks, and I couldn't hit him. At least I couldn't hit him vertically, which is the, the good habit most of the time, but the vertical hits, lower percentage of time spent doing damage, but probably a higher percentage of damage actually done. So, damn, dude. I, I got bodied. There's nothing more to say there. I'm going to adopt the parlance of our youth and say that I'm taking the L on that one. For now, in spite of my ineptitude, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We got a lot more to go because of the fact that I suck right now. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you next time.